Hi Pisces, it's Alulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation really, really quick. It's going to be a brief a run-through. Thank you so much for joining me here at the House of Oshun. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. If you so decide to do so, it's your life. Okay? Now then, we are using the Surrender deck here today. That's going to be the theme of the day, Surrender again. All right? They um, do the most calling out as far as, um, hey, 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 use us. But um, overall, any information that you need is in the description box. All right? Don't pay attention to nothing in the comments that has to do with um, trying to um, ask if you want to read or they, they read your energy. You need, I would never. Okay? If they are doing that, just simply report them. Thank you. Now then, thank you all for your love and support. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any distortions that you see in the video, just listen to the video. If you see any uh, visible distortions, I don't know what that's about. So hopefully they figure it out over on YouTube, okay? All right, so let's get into it. What do you have for my beautiful Pisces? What do you have for my beautiful Pisces? Thank you. Surrender procrastination. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Uh -oh. Surrender to inner peace. Surrender to the magic of who you are. And surrender to the beauty of the natural world. All right, so let's take this one card at a time, and then we'll start clarifying. So the first one is surrender procrastination. Whatever it is that you've been um, thinking about, but you've been tiptoeing around it or trying to find some type of reason not to do it possibly. I don't know your life. But overall, um, they're saying here that it's very important that you stay on your path. You, it's very important that you stick to um, the goals that you have set, stick to the things that you have um, agreed to. So maybe that has something to do with it because the truth, your truth is worth its weight in gold at this time. So what that means is whatever it is that you stick to and commit to or what have you, um, even if it comes to this relationship that came up, this unhealthy relationship, it could be an unhealthy relationship with yourself or others, whichever way that goes. But there's something about what it is that you are coming to do that it's, it's really going to, it's worth its weight in gold. And I really get that from this surrender to the beauty of the natural world because your natural world has a lot to do with how you do just about anything basically but with that surrender procrastination uh this is like taking that leap of faith this is uh more about reviewing where you have been not getting fed up and tired find the joy within so that you can bring joy into everything that you do bring joy into the things that you want to do want to accomplish here um get excited what Okay, get excited. Let me see here. Clarify this surrender uh, procrastination for my beautifuls. The sacral chakra, throat chakra, and the moon totem wolf. So it says, beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. So maybe you've been putting something off. And um, maybe you've been putting something off and deciding to do something that doesn't have anything to do with your goals. So that may be what that is about this instinct spinning out of control. Um, maybe not even being able to really pinpoint that exact thing that needs to be done, even though um, once it comes to the forefront of your awareness, you will be on the money. The throat chakra says, expressing my feelings. I allow my emotions to be fully experienced. I acknowledge feelings of grief, anger, or fear. To express my emotions or resolve them within myself so that I can move forward freely. I let the unconditional love experienced in my heart by um, heart be expressed through my voice and my creativity. Then we have the, sac the sacral chakra and it says abundance. You are worthy and you deserve more, but you got to surrender to the magic of who you are. The magic within so that it can be reflected without. And with this being the sacral and the throat chakra... The, um, this may even be that um, the way that you express yourself has changed or maybe you were in your feelings when it comes to this relationship and it kind of pulled you back, had you stuck in the mud or something like that. But overall, what I'm getting by just going over this first card, it's important for you to remember that you are going somewhere. You've been somewhere, so of course you are somewhere and of course you are what? Going somewhere. Okay? So it's very important for you to remember that. All right. So then we have surrender unhealthy relationships. And with this surrender unhealthy relationships, it says let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. Now, the surrender to inner peace is coming behind it, which is giving 
um, it's letting us know that something is distracting or trying to interrupt your peace. When you are in a peaceful space, it's easier for you to connect. When you are in a peaceful space, it's easier for you to move forward and not question yourself, question your ideas, question uh, your motives, your own motives. Because sometimes you can be in relationships with someone and they can have you questioning everything about what you are, who you are, and how you go about. Friends, family, whoever, home, you know, homies, whatever. Clarify this surrender unhealthy relationships. It may hurt to have to leave this situation or um, remove yourself from some situation that's unhealthy. It may hurt to really face those emotions that came in that fifth chakra, but it's time for you to speak the truth on that. Go ahead and clear it out so that you won't get any physical blockages because it can happen as well. Um, but that also happens with um, chakra activations as well. Certain things in the body begin to um, act a little wacky. Okay. Let's see here. What is this surrender unhealthy relationships? The four of pentacles. I'm telling you, you may be in a situation where you are connected with someone or it could just be the interconnection as well. But you may be connecting with someone or in a situation where you feel blocked. You feel like you're not enough. You feel like you can't do enough. You don't have enough to make this type of move. You don't have enough to get out of this certain situation. Maybe you're waiting. You were waiting for this person had you waiting for something because she's pulling him out. She's pulling him out. So maybe you've been doing more of something for someone else and not doing what you need to for you and your journey on your path because you're a whole separate and unique at the end of the day. And if you're around people who don't get that or don't understand it or just refuse to, you know, you want to remove yourself from those situations. This is about setting clear boundaries and being very um, cheap with your energy. OK, everybody does not deserve to be around you at this time because there's something that you need to do. Something may have happened at a restaurant, uh, some type of, I don't know why I heard gazebo. A gazebo is not at a restaurant, I don't think. But um, there may have been something that happened at a restaurant that let you know exactly what's going on. The King of Cups and the Sun card. So there may be a new beginning with someone or someone wants to offer you something. They may feel bad about what it is that they did, but only after you walk away or you set the record straight. Yep. Because someone may be stuck in a pattern um, from when they were uh, very young. With that six of cups and that four of cups. Um, this may be someone who drinks a lot. And maybe you were trying to save them. What is this four of pentacles? The ace of pentacles. Then there will be a change. There's something being offered to you. Five of swords and the devil. So there's something being offered to you. And I feel like whatever it is um, that is going on. You want to be very mindful of any um, communications that you have with people that are situations that you already put an end to. You went through some type of rebirth because with the devil, he failed. So let it fall. Whatever it may be that is um, causing some type of stagnancy in your life, whatever it is that may be causing some type of interruption of your peace, whatever it is that made you forget that you are beautiful, you are intelligent, you are worthy here. Because I feel like with the decision that you made, um, someone, this is so crazy, some back and forth. This is communication. You made some type of decision here to not go around in circles, not to hold on to certain patterns of behavior. Someone doesn't like that. And what I'm seeing here with this three of ones, they may say something to you to try to see if they had some type of effect on you. They may be watching your social media. Someone is trying to um, bring something up. It may be about a child. Three of Swords as well. Three of Swords is coming after the uh, Three of Wands. So something that you've been waiting on or someone waiting on you to work on or what have you, it's going to push you into your work. Because I feel as though with this three with this three of swords and the way that it is in this deck, some of you have reflected on where your pain lies. See that? That person is holding that sword and looking at it. Someone has reflected on where the pain or the issue is. And it's like the other person may come in and try to fix things or make things, make something, make um, have you make a different type of decision. But with this Eight of Pentacles, I feel as though you in the Eight of Wands, you know exactly what it is that you need to work on, how you need to work on, and what's going to propel you forward. You allow the dead to uh, bury the dead in this situation. So you let bygones be bygones. With the surrender to inner peace, it says that you cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. So it's important to make a decision to do so, so that you can free yourself of things that would have you um, restrained or constricted or restricted where you can't move forward, where you can't see the magic of who you are, where you won't be able to um, have stand in your moral beliefs, your code of ethics, your personal standards, your person, eight of swords. Yep, you're going to have to make a decision so that you won't get caught up in the same loop that you were in before. That's what they said. 
Surrendering to uh, the magic of who you are says we have all the magic within us, even if the mundane aspects of life, in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with uniqueness and worth that and worth that came from just being you. So that may even have something to do with you holding back on leaving a relationship, but you know that on the other side of this, how things used to be, the type of people you used to attract, the type of people that you used to have fun with, uh, the type of people that you used to work with. So you need to get outside, touch some grades, basically. With that surrender to the beauty of the natural world, take a relaxing break, take time out to laugh, have fun, um, watch something that takes you into a space where you know, remember where you came from and who you are, because that's where your clarity lies, justice and the ace of swords. The truth is being revealed in something, you may be receiving some type of letter or some type of information, but overall, that's your intuition also kicking in, um, heightened intuition, information, knowledge, research or what have you, but there's something with the justice system. Overall, it could be the um, spiritual justice system, the universal justice system, as well as um, at the public defender's office chat, the will of fortune. Because someone is trying to manipulate the will, your fate, your destiny. But you need to remember that that is in your control so that you won't be able to blame anything that happens or transpires in the near future on um, this person that you or these people that you've been around. All right. Buy you some new clothes or something. Buy you a new outfit, something that you haven't worn in a long time. Maybe you changed up something. You changed up the way that you do something because of somebody. You changed up how, like, why? Chad, please. What information do you have for uh, these beautiful people? The moon. Self-reflection. Inner wisdom. Things being revealed, strength in the four of wands. Once you stand on your ten and once you feel comfortable within your home, once you feel grounded and feel secure and very passionate about what you want and how you want things to go and what you envision for yourself when it comes to whatever this is you're supposed to be doing, <clears throat> it's going to drive people crazy, but you'll be all right. Because I'm seeing here that maybe you um, haven't reflected on yourself in a while. Maybe you haven't really looked at yourself, seen yourself, um, remembering who you are. In, in, like you stand in the mirror and look deeply in your eyes and tell yourself all the things, all the problems that you have. Um, look, Because you'll get your answers. The more that you let it out with that throat chakra, the more that you let it out, right? You begin to speak and discern um, your own um, answers. Sometimes that's the best way. That's one of the best ways to do it. Look at yourself and really have a whole conversation. Looking into your own eyes. Looking um, deep into your own soul. Reclaiming and recalling certain parts of yourself that are necessary. Or saying yes to your process and saying that you are ready to move forward. The fool and the three of swords. Free yourself. Become a more of a free spirit. Maybe that's what you used to be before all of this heartbreak. Maybe you want to take a trip or some type of journey. Um, after some painful event happened, something happened that or transpired with that three of swords, someone may even come in and say that they feel foolish or um, feel kind of bad about how things went, how things transpired between the two of you. But overall, it, it's really, it really feels like things are being revealed to you slowly but surely. Um, there's something here with the moon cycles, the moon phases, that a lot of things will come to pass. Something will um, really be seen. You will have a natural... Um, there's something natural about the way that you're going to see something. Maybe you'll be praying in water, doing a spiritual bath, praying in water, um, talking to water, talking to the water in your body, of course. But there's something about you and water, you and the moon that is very um, introspective for you at this time. So stay and keep a cool booty. If you feel as though you are ready to take a leap of faith and you are ready for your journey, because you remember that what... You remember that your truth, look at that, this, yeah, apparently, okay, so y'all agree, um, the Six of Swords and the Hierophant, some of you are deciding to leave a situation, maybe your corporate job or something like that, you're deciding to leave some type of, um, something that was restricting you, something that had you in some, some um, conformity, having to abide by certain types of rules that weren't fitting, it was too much conflict, so um, if you know that your truth is worth its weight and go, standing in your truth, being the truth, if you know that your truth is worth its weight and gold, drop some gold down below if you want to. Whatever it is that re is reflective of your truth without you having to say words. Mm. 